Okay, thank you everybody for uh, being here today. We have um, Princeton uh, student athletes, Abby Myers, Julia Cunningham, and Maggie Connolly. And um, if you would um, raise your hand and state your name and uh, media affiliation, and we'll bring a microphone um, over to you. We also uh, want to um, recognize we have uh, SID um, Chaz uh, Dorman here, if anybody needs anything. With, uh, with media for, uh, for Princeton, Chad's is here. And uh, we will go ahead and open it up to questions. I know it's been a couple of years since, there we go. You guys played uh, Kentucky, and it was a different team. You guys probably have a different team. They obviously have a different team. But is there some familiarity with playing a team like Kentucky this year? Any of you? Yeah, um, that was my freshman year when, when we played them. I think there's some interesting parallels. I think they have a very new team. We have a very new team. Um, you know, we're playing a lot of people that have never played in an NCAA tournament before. So I think there's definitely new aspects. but. Um, you know, still kind of some parallels that we're looking at. We're kind of focusing on our new team and, and their new team, and we're just going to move forward from there. You get to face a player like Ryan Howard, who I think had 15 points in the game when she was a freshman against you guys. Uh, she's obviously a, a, a great player, but do you guys have to game plan only for her, or do you look at the entire team as a whole? Um, I mean, our... First off, I'll say our coaches do an incredible job um, of scouting and helping us prepare for the game. So we definitely, you know, she's a great player, um, but we're definitely looking at the whole entire team. Um, we love getting stops. That's our, that's our thing. That's our motto. Um, so that's the, that's the plan. We can take a question from uh, Zoom next. We have uh, Jen on the line. Jen, if you want to ask your question. Hi, everybody. Jen Hatfield with The Next. Um, for any of you that, that want to answer, just what has your NCAA tournament experience been like so far, you know, getting here? I know that this is the first time for many folks on your team. So what's what's the experience been like? I can take this one. Um, hey, Jen. Uh, <laughs> long time no no see, but can't really see you because your, your video is off on Zoom. Um, no, yeah, we're, we're just really excited. You know, I think just as an Ivy League team, um, we're just excited to make a difference to really leave our mark and to represent the whole conference. Uh, but yeah, we, we were able to get a nice tour of Bloomington, went to a nice Starbucks this morning, had a good walk. Uh, we're just trying to take in the moment. It's special. You know, it's the first time for a lot of us. So um, yeah, just trying to embrace it as a whole and, and just prepare and get our bodies ready for, for tomorrow versus Kentucky. We'll go over to your left here. Michael Epps with WDKY in Lexington. You guys are on quite a winning streak, and uh, <coughs> so are they. What are you seeing out of them as you've prepared for them, and what's been rolling with you guys? One of you guys can answer. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think our team, like, the whole year has kind of just been focusing on the game ahead of us. So, you know, we're really proud of the win streak. We did a great job in the Ivy League, kind of took care of business. Um, but moving forward, you know, we're just looking – one day ahead of us, right? And this is a big matchup for us, so we're focused on that. And you know, Kentucky's had some really big wins in the past past couple of weeks, so you know we're very aware of that. We're watching a lot of film, um, you know, but kind of focusing on on our game and and not too much looking at the past. Any other questions in the room here for the student athletes? Yep, we'll go back here. Uh, John Moses, Princeton Radio. Um, for you, Abby, um, you know, over the course of this year, you know, where have you sort of seen your game expand, change, um, improve since uh, the beginning of the season until now? Um, honestly, I get surprised by what I do each game in terms of like I, I just come in trying to be as patient as I can, um, you know, within the offense and, and just to honestly like play my role. And I think my role is a little bit on both ends. Um, more so maybe on offense than it is on, on defense, according to, to coach. You know, trying to get better at defense, but, you know, we're, we're there. We're there. Um, but, yeah, you know, I'm kind of just trying to take in this moment. It is my last year, and I actually didn't get to play versus Kentucky. I um, took a gap year that year, so for me, it's my first time playing them and, um, you know, just trying to avenge, I guess, my teammates um, who played against Kentucky their freshman year. Uh, but, yeah, you know, I'm kind of just play, playing the season as it goes and, and just trying to have fun with it, not overthink anything. 
All right, uh, Chaz Dorman from Princeton Athletics. Talked about the the streak inside the Ivy League, but non-conference too. I think the schedule this year, the four teams inside the tournament. So you have that experience. This isn't the first time playing against a team in the NCAA tournament. How did that Florida Gulf Coast, Texas, Villanova, et cetera, prepare the group for tomorrow afternoon? Yeah, I mean, we, we love playing uh, really tough out-of-conference opponents. I think it definitely prepares us um, for games like this. Um, not all of them went according to plan, but you know, some of them I think we learned a lot from, um, the wins and the losses. So I think you know, just thinking back to the things that worked in those games um, and you know, just sticking to the way we play in Princeton basketball. So, Good question. Uh, yeah. We'll go back to uh, Jen. For any of you guys again, just you know, not trying to get you in, in trouble with Carla here, but can you give us some like keys to the game, or you know, what, <laughs> what do you have to do besides getting stops to win tomorrow? Jen, we're just gonna play our game plan. You know, <laughs> um, not gonna disclose anything. According to, to Coach, actually, she she had a hunch that someone was gonna ask that before. But uh, yeah, you, we're just gonna play our game. Um, we're gonna get stops. We're gonna really try and chalk them on our defensive end. Um, and really just you know try and get out there and, and show them what Ivy League's made of. Okay, anybody else with questions for student athletes? Seeing none, thank Thanks, you ladies. Guys. Thank, you. thank you. I'm gonna bring this because it's Take it. free water. 